All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we're going to talk about a couple of things regarding the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, the quarterback changes, um, as well as them pursuing uh, free agent wide receiver Tyler Boyd, who is still out there. Um, I thought he would have signed by now, but he is still on the free agent market, and the Steelers are a team that have interest in him. So I wanted to. Talk, I know I have the quarterback stuff second here on the segment title but i wanted to talk about that first um so their initial plan the steelers was once they brought in russell wilson kenny pickett was going to sit behind him and russell wilson was going to take him under his wing now again i mean how much mentoring would russell wilson have done i don't know um well we really won't know because then they ended up trading Kenny Pickett, but um, it just seems like that was never going to happen. Um, The Steelers believed adding Russell Wilson could benefit Pickett and communicated plans for an open competition, but Pickett perceived Wilson's arrival as a deviation from the initial plan. Uh, Pickett expressed his uh, discontent and preferred a fresh start elsewhere, leading to his trade to the Eagles, and then that eventually led to the Steelers saying, all right, well, let's go get Justin Fields for cheap, and that's what they did. So, yeah, they, their initial plan was have Russell Wilson mentor him if that was going to happen, like I said. I don't know how much mentoring Russell Wilson would have done, but there was going to be an open competition. But Kenny Pickett was like, no, I, I want to go somewhere else. And that's what they ended up doing. And you know what? I think that is going to end up being a, you know, that was the wrong move on Pickett, if that's the case, because... You still, I feel like now you're in a situation where Jalen Hurts is the starter. And the only way you're going to play is if he gets hurt. So, like, if you, you, like, there's no open competition there. Jalen Hurts is the starter. Now, again, we could talk about Jalen Hurts and how he turned the ball over more in 2023 and and the Eagles, you know, collapsed at the end of the season. It, It doesn't matter. Jalen Hurts is the starting quarterback. There's no competition. You're the backup quarterback. If he would have stayed in Pittsburgh, there was still a better pathway for you to start. It's just, yeah, you probably wouldn't start right off the bat, but if Russell Wilson goes out there and he struggles, well, you're going to get called upon. You're going to get put in because you're the only other guy. But he didn't want to do that. And again, like... I have questions on, you know, if Russell Wilson was going to be a mentor to Kenny Pickett. But again, Russell Wilson, I know the last couple of seasons in Denver were rough. Well, the first season was. Um, You know, the second season was better. And we'll see what happens now in Pittsburgh. But Russell Wilson at one point was looked at as a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's been to two Super Bowls. You don't want to sit behind him and kind of, you know... Seek some guidance from him. Instead, you... Re- now, again, Jalen Hurts has been to a Super Bowl, but he hasn't won one. He, lo- I mean, he lost to Patrick Mahomes, which, you know, I mean, are you going to fault him for that? No, but... I mean, Russell Wilson's been in the league a lot longer than Jalen Hurts, has been to two Super Bowls. Wouldn't you want to sit behind him and try to learn some things to better yourself? And again, on top of that, you would have a pathway to eventually maybe stepping back into the starter role because Russell Wilson only signed a one-year deal for $1 million, right? So, I, I, again, you want a fresh start, okay. Well, they traded you to a team where you're probably not going to play unless Jalen Hurts gets hurt. So, right now, Kenny Pickett's looking at being a backup quarterback the rest of his career. And, the you know, the only game we saw Kenny Pickett play without Matt Canada, the Steelers had 400 yards of offense. And the Steelers, you know, I, it's, again, people around the league were saying, and fans, how is this team winning games? But they were finding ways to win. And Kenny Pickett... Whether you like it or not, he was a part of that. And then when he got hurt, 
everything fell apart. Mitchell Trubisky steps in, and the Steelers started losing games. It looked like they're going to be out of the playoffs. People talking about Mike Tomlin, you know, getting, you know, let go. But then they made the quarterback change with Mason Rudolph, and they made the playoffs. And Pickett was healthy, but they didn't go back to him. So, I mean, this is on Kenny Pickett. I think, and he's a young player. Like, I'll talk about one of the other moves that were made that, that, uh, that were made uh, recently um, regarding a quarterback, which I'll get into in the um, in the final part of the show. Um, but, you know, you're a young player. You're like, I, I deserve to start. You know, you got you to gotta be humbled a little bit. Yeah, again, if that's, you know, what has to happen. But, I mean, again, I'm not, I don't know this, I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, as do, you know, you guys watching. But, you got you kind of have to read the room a little bit. And honestly, if I was Kenny Pickett, I'd say, listen, there's a competition. Go out there and compete. And if you don't get the starting job, well, again, there's still a pathway for it. But that's not what he wanted to do. And the Steelers ended up trading him, and they ended up getting Justin Fields. And, again, the Steelers, they've done some things that kind of surprised you. They pulled the plug on Kenny Pickett. Because they, you know, they drafted him out of Pittsburgh. Out of Pitt. And he was looked at as the successor to Ben Roethlisberger. But that ended up not being the case. They pulled the plug on him. They traded him. They got a whole new quarterback room. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. That's your quarterback room going into 2024. So, yeah, de definitely a mistake on Pickett's part. I think you sit behind Russell Wilson, you let him start, and you know what? You try to learn from a Hall of Famer. Well, he's got to try to work his way back to being a Hall I mean, is Russell Wilson still a Hall of Famer? Maybe that's something we'll have to debate at some point. But... Learn from a guy that's, you know, been to a couple Super Bowls, that's won one, and then tr try to get yourself better. Because, yeah, Kenny Pickett, I guess he thought, like, oh, this is my job. No, you got to earn it now. Because there's some you have some question marks. But he just, I guess he didn't see that. So, but, yeah, it th that was the Steelers' initial plan was – have Pickett learn under Russell Wilson, which I think we all figured, but it just that just ended up not happening. So the other thing I wanted to talk about uh, is Tyler Boyd. So the Steelers are interested in signing him. Uh, they brought in some receivers. They brought in Van Jefferson, Quez Watkins. They also, because of the new kickoff rules, they did sign Cordero, Cordero Patterson, who is one of the better kickoff returners. So that was a smart move there. I think it was on like a two-year deal. Um, but... You know, they traded away Deontay Johnson. They're probably going to draft a receiver. But they do have interest in Tyler Boyd, who could be a nice number two alongside George Pickens. Um, the Steelers supposedly have made an initial offer to Boyd, and they are sticking with it. So we'll see, you know, what happens there. But, you know, I mean, for Tyler Boyd, you're staying in the division. Um, you know, the Steelers, I think, are going to be you know, a, a decent team for 2024. Um, if Russell Wilson can maybe turn back the clock, I mean, this this team could be, you know, a team, a sleeper team going into 2024, even though, again, they play in a loaded division and, we, you know, the conference is, we, we know. But I think that'd be a good spot for him. You know, this, to pair him up with George Pickens, you got Pat Fryermuth, a nice duo of uh, Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. It's a... You know, I, I, it would be a good spot for him, especially a good defense as well. Um, that would be a good spot for him. And Tyler Boyd's been a decent receiver throughout his career. And, you know, the Bengals have gone through some changes over the course of his career. Um, but you know what? He's still been a productive receiver. And, you know, the Bengals, with some of the things going on there, they got to pay Jamar Chase. Could they trade T. Higgins? 
I mean, if you end up losing Tyler Boyd and T. Higgins, it's, you know, again, I, I've said this, it's it's going to hurt. Um, Tyler Boyd had 1,000-yard uh, receiving seasons in back-to-back -back years in 2018 and 2019. Um, had over 800 yards receiving, 841 in 2020, 828 in, in 2021. Um, but 2022 and 2023, receiving yards, yeah, it's, since 2019, receiving yards have gone down. Now, again, that has a lot to do with them drafting T. Higgins, them drafting Jamar Chase. You know, that takes away from Tyler Boyd. Uh, he only had two touchdowns in 2023, five in 2022. We'll see, let's see how many games he played in. So... Played in 17 games in 2023, 2022 and 2021, he played in 16, 15 in 2020, 16 in 2019. Again, the lowest amount of games he's played in a season is 10. That's back in 2017. Other than that, he's been relatively healthy his whole career. But again, like I said, when you draft a T. Higgins and you draft a Jamar Chase, yeah, that's going to take away some targets from you. And that's exactly what happened. Um... So I think he prefers to probably go elsewhere. Oh, and he actually went to Pitt. I did not know that. Oh, so see, Kenny Pickett could have stayed, and if they got Boyd, well, there's a receiver. He could have formed a nice uh, Pitt connection in uh, in Pittsburgh, but uh, that ended up not being the case. So we'll see what happens there. But again, I, I think whoever gets Tyler Boyd, I think that's a good signing. Um, but we'll just have to... Again, just have to wait and see what ends up happening there. Um, he's still one of the top free agent receivers left, or just free agents in general. Um, so we'll see if the Steelers end up getting him because they have a need at receiver, and they could address it through the draft, which is something they've done in the past. So I could see that. But maybe they go out and they add a Tyler Boyd. And then, like I said, they've added a pair of, you know, veteran receivers. I mean, I don't really look at Quez Watkins and Van Jefferson as veterans, but that's what they are. See, like, for me with veteran, I feel like you have to be in the league for a long time. Like, Van Jefferson's been in the league since, what, 2021, 2020? I mean, I guess, you know, this is going to be his fifth season now. So, okay, I guess, you know, Quez Watkins... I don't even know how long Quez Watkins has been in the league, honestly. Cordero Patter now Cordero Patterson is a veteran. I mean, he's been in the league for ten plus years. Uh, I think this will be like what his eleventh season? Because what was his his rookie season? I think was 2013, 20, 2012, 2013, around that. Yeah, let's take a quick look. Um, but I I, li I like that signing because again with the kickoff rules. That that's that was a decent signing for the uh, for the Steelers. So Cordero Patterson, thirty three years old now. So his rookie season, I think, was twenty thirteen. Yeah, it was twenty thirteen. Yep. So there you have it. Um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on the Tyler Boyd stuff where he indeed ends up going. So before I go to Go into our next break. Just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So when we come back from our second break of the show, we'll talk about some of the revenge games uh, for 2024 and we'll discuss them give you my thoughts on them when we come back so with that being said stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast <laughs> 